What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown? I'm back with more Doki Doki Literature Club. So, last time, we shared our poems with the rest of the uh, group. Uh, Natsuki and Yuri got into a fight. We diffused it thanks to the help of Sayori, and now I'm writing another poem. I don't know who to do this time, though. I think this time... Mm, let's... Uh, let's spend a little time with Sayori. This is going to be a hard one to do. I haven't actually... Uh, cracked her thing yet. Uh, agonizing? Nope, that's, that's, uh, dream. Fuck. Friends. There we go. Laugh. There we go. Sadness? Yeah, there we go. Romance. Okay. I, I'm get I'm getting, I'm getting bad. There I, I'm getting, I'm getting the gist of this. All right. Um. Uh, Really? All right. Um, God. Uh, beauty? There we go. It's kind of hard differentiating what words. Like, there are certain words you can just kind of fill out that are just like, okay, that's specifically for that one. It's like, but does this count as a, this thing or this thing? I don't know. It's, it's weird sometimes. Imagination? I don't know. Really? Sunset. There we go. Lucky? Ocean. Love. Fun. Pure? No, oh, that was not who I expected. Now, ah, whatever. I'm pretty sure I got enough for uh, Sayori. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hey, Jack. Or hi, Jack. Whatever. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? Th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Why that, all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, uh... Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, uh, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought, uh, bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. <laughs> Yuri! Tell Jack to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... Uh, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... I got my eyebrow itches. There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. 
Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. But come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> to flap. <laughs> yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was... Eh? Uh, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? <laughs> it's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. N N Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Oh, God. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? <laughs> Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it! Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! hey, hey. Did you seriously just do that? Uh, <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Eh? Natsuki glances around the room. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm... That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh! I wouldn't go that far. Eh, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Revealing Monica and boyfriend in hand. No. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up, anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. There we go, sorry about that. Ugh. I felt like a sensation in my nose. I thought it was bleeding or something. That happens occasionally. That makes no sense, though. You would have had, you would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play some time for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! 
That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Jack. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yori is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some uh, some of the book Yuri gave me. I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Oh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? <laughs> what kind? Well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. You're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. <laughs> cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Alright, sorry about that. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But, there lies the, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. That would be the best club ever. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true enough. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days did this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. 
<laughs> Look, your hair is sticking out all around, all around here. Ah! Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> Anyway, you look much better now, so... Uh... Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh... It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why were you saying it like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Does that mean technically I'm your boyfriend? I'm not going to think about this any harder than I have to. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyways, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking this time. And it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Uh -uh. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! <laughs> Jack, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. All right, I guess I'll let I guess I'll let Sayori read my poem. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Jack. Eh? I love it, especially after yesterday's poem. Uh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really. I want to put this on my wall. Can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Oh man, that sounds like my entire YouTube career. <laughs> I just keep doing shit and people are like, Oh man, you're so good. You serve so many subs. Oh man, I love watching it. You're my favorite person. I'm just like, 
I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than that. Maybe even not Suki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Jack poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that it's, uh, that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings in it is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Ah, you want me to write something? Yeah, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You gotta think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Um... I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Shit, I would kill for two seconds to see what it's like inside of your head. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. It, it is? It, it, it is? Maybe I'm getting better expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Jack. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? All right, battles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles. All in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way, down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the, discovering the secrets hiding in nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scrapping and scraping, Scra scraping, I don't know. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and, co and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the, uh... It shatters against the tile beneath, between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. Wow, that's kind of a downer poem. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. 
and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, uh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yay! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry has always had a bad habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be a pessimist to be pessimistic. All right, and next time we'll have we'll have the others take a look at our uh, at our uh, poems. But for now, that's going to be it. So until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta.